Good morning, everyone. In this video, I wanted to let everyone know that I'm going to keep doing what I am doing. Many Christians want me to stop. They want me to be quiet. One even told me that, how dare you use the Bible against the Lord? I don't know where that came from. That was really weird, a very weird thing to say. But please know this, it's that I don't answer to people. I answer to my Lord. Now, everyone can have an opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I encourage opinions. But the mere opinions of others will not prompt me to be quiet. If I am silenced, it will be at the hand of the Lord, not by human beings. In the book of Acts, chapter 5, the Pharisee Gamaliel came to the defense of the apostles who were ordered by men, that is the high priest and the members of the Sanhedrin, to stop preaching. They were even thrown in jail. But during the night, an angel opened the jail doors and released them. And they were right back out there preaching. When the high priest and the members of the Sanhedrin heard about this, they were enraged and had them arrested again and brought before the Sanhedrin and the high priest. And they were chastised and told, did we not order you to stop and not teach in Jesus' name? Peter replied to them, we must obey God rather than human beings. The high priest and the members of the Sanhedrin were furious at the apostles because they refused to comply and wanted to put them to death in steps the prominent Pharisee Gamaliel. Gamaliel told the high priest and the members of the Sanhedrin this, men of Israel, consider carefully what you intend to do with these men. Some time ago, Thutis appeared claiming to be somebody and about 400 men rallied to him. He was killed. All his followers were dispersed, and it all came to nothing. After him, Judas, a Galilean, appeared in the days of the census and led a band of people in revolt. He too was killed, and all his followers were scattered. Therefore, in the present case, I advise you, leave these men alone. Let them go. For if their purpose or activity is of human origin, it will fail. But if it is from God, you will not be able to stop these men. You will only find yourselves fighting against God. So it's not up to you Christians to order me to stop. You do not have that power. If I'm silenced, it will be at the hand of God. It will be God in his own due time who will silence the false ones. Listen, I'm not telling any of you Christians to stop what you're doing. God will deal with you and others and me as well if what I'm doing and what you are doing is not from him through his son. I will never come out here on YouTube and tell anyone not to listen to you. To the contrary, I will tell them to listen to you, but to put to the test the things that you teach, to put to the test the things that I say. None of us are immune from such testing. And this is written at 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. I'm just a small YouTube content creator. Certainly, I know threat to you Christians, or am I? In my view, when you tell persons, don't listen to those persons over there, or those guys over there, or even order others to stop what they're doing, then you show a lack of faith that God will deal with those persons. You want to take matters into your own hands. Do any of you Christians think for one moment, just by you telling me, or even saying to me, stop what you're doing, and then behind that, what you will do is throw in some scare tactic, 
You better stop what you're doing because God going to get you. Making God to be a boogeyman. And you're issuing threat and intimidation in your made up place of eternal torment. Do you think for one moment that I'm phased by that? That I'm going to comply to what you say? You are just a human being. You are not God, yet many of you want to play God. Having the audacity to tell others that if you don't do as we say, as we Christians say, and, in, and believe as we say you are to believe, accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and air quote, get saved, that they're going to be punished for all eternity in some hellfire. Do you think for one moment that I'm faced by that? And I'm going to comply to you? Because if I did that, then I'm more in fear of you than I am of God. Like in this situation here with Gamaliel and the apostles, the apostles refused to comply with the orders of the high Sanhedrin hall. The members of the Sanhedrin were distinguished Jewish men that the people revered and respected back then. And here the apostles, all Jews, did not comply with their orders. And Peter said to them, we must obey God as ruler rather than men, or in some Bible translations, it simply says, we must obey God rather than human beings. So I say to you Christians, I'm not gonna stop because you say I should. And I say this to you, just as Peter said to the high priest and the members of the Sanhedrin, I must obey God rather than human beings.